Welcome back. Today we're going to Vendicari, a uh, natural reserve in the sea south of Syracuse in Sicily. This area is famous because it's uh, perfect for bird watching. So that's why I'm speaking very uh, low volume because right now I'm in a bird watching, I don't know, cage? How do you not call it? How do you call that? I'm gonna get some picture, I hope, with my 15 to 200, 55 to 200. This was the initial uh, observation point, but the idea is huge and there's a lot of places of interest, both uh, bird watching and uh, landscape. So we're gonna walk the area, I'm gonna have a look at the other big uh, water basin that it's uh, say 10 minutes walk from the beginning of the, of the, of the area. Let's see, I want to see if birds are closer, even though my experience in the other area is that birds are usually far, far away in my 55 to 200, not be enough, but it's worth trying. I have a lot of time before sunset, so I want to dedicate some time wildlife photography even though I'm far from being a wildlife photographer but it's fun and it's refreshing to try something different so I'm happy to be here you can see right there behind me that's the area that I want to focus when it comes to uh, photography later today uh, it's an area that, that I know very well and the fact that there's no one around is spectacular That is not good enough so I'm gonna move on for the moment and look for some more bird watching occasions and then come back it's not a it's not a long walk at all so no problems point to be so maybe if I'm lucky there's a lot of birds around let's hope of course this being a, a reserve protected I can't fly my drone I have it always have it in my 
backpack, but I'm not gonna fly in the drone today. And that's fine. I mean, you don't want to disturb the wildlife here with a buzzing drone. And as usual in this area, birds are far, far, far away. So there's very little chance to shoot any decent photograph with a 200 millimeters even though it's on a APS-C sensor but it's not gonna happen here I think I got my first photography spot for today. So, let me talk to you through my composition. I'm shooting with, uh, basically I'm shooting this, there's a, I don't know, there's a U shape in the rocks over here and I'm shooting with a polarizer and a 10 stop ND filters to smooth the water and trying to add some movement in the clouds that you see that you see in the in the background i don't know if that's gonna work i need to rush it because we're in a, under a cliff and already the sun is uh getting below the cliff after a first uh test shot i realized that i also needed to add uh in the grad because the sky was coming too bright i didn't expect that because it was pretty much the same color of the water but then when you polarize the water the water gets a lot darker so yeah basically i have three filters right now polarizer then stop nd and uh, um, three stop uh, nd grad This is pretty much what I'm shooting right now and I'll show you better in a moment. The way I'm set right now is to shoot this little bay that you see over here and pretty much what I'm doing is like the shot before um, I'm shooting with uh, three filters on the 12 millimeter Zeiss 160 ASO F10 uh, a minute of exposure uh, the polarizer a 10 stop ND and a three stop ND grad to bring back uh, the sky the sky is not super interesting so as you see from the frame right here I don't know if it shows I'm not including that much sky because it wouldn't add anything to the picture so and another thing is I don't know if you see the corner on the low left there's a light leaking from the filter and then I'm shading as you can see I'm shading the filter thread the filter holder like this to prevent light from leaking from the side so three two one go 10 second timer just in case two would probably be enough but you never know
love to have a little bit more interest in the sky because it's very flat so that kind of that doesn't help but I'm pretty satisfied with the picture that I got now move on and let's move to the to the Tonnara where probably I will have the most interesting shot one thing though is that even though the sky is kind of clear there's a little I don't know a little uh, layer of uh, haze that doesn't allow the light from the Sun to properly hit and get that orange glow that we should get when it's close to sunrise to sunset now if you've seen my review of the Fujifilm 16 to 80 millimeters if you haven't I'll put a link somewhere here um, go and have a look at it uh, I told you that basically I bought that lens because I wanted that to be my go-to lens for when I wanted to go easy and with only one lens but today I haven't used it I've used the 12 millimeter Zeiss for the landscape and the 55 to 200 for like bird watch bird watching for wildlife shots that's because when I know I'm not gonna be hiking a lot I'm not gonna be walking a lot I will bring my wide angle and my telephoto lens you buy a lens you get get in love with the lens maybe but don't just get stuck with that lens as if you have only that one if you have others bring them up get your gear out get your gear out and, 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 and use it there's always gonna be a reason to use what you have I know there's gotta be some composition worth being shot but I can't find it I've been working hard but I couldn't find it I thought I was struggling with the composition but it wasn't the composition that wasn't good it was just the light now the light it's a lot better and I found my composition very easily which was exactly where I left my backpack that meant that I was right with the composition it just the light wasn't good enough I'm shooting vertigo this this scene over here you see in the center and I will need to crop it 4 by 5 just to avoid putting too much sky in the in the scene that doesn't just help at all with only one filter the polarizer filter nothing else I don't need anything else I got scared while I was shooting because my trusty my trusted Osmo portrait flipped over as you probably seen in the edited video and that concerned me a lot because I was scared that I had uh, damaged it beyond repair probably it's working fine I will need to test it I'll need to test it a little bit better but probably I got like lesson learned even if you think it's in a stable position make sure it is as you think here we are in the tunnel as I said the location is spectacular and if you've never been here you probably should especially if you come to Sicily it's worth spend an entire day over here because it's uh, it's spectacular well the sun is going down but the light is not happening there's a group of clouds that it's 
blocking the sun in the moment where it shouldn't reach its peak color. That sucks, but what do you want to do? That's landscape photography, baby, right? Night finally came out and it looks up. There might be a shot, they shot one, but now shooting the second one, the one that I wanted with a very long exposure time. It looks like it should be perfect for what I want. In the meantime, I got flamingos flying, flying over my head. It's, today was, per, was spectacular. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up to help me grow the channel.